Hey, what's up? It's Crazy Tito. So I'm really glad to have all of you with me today for a new tutorial. Um, this is part one, and I'm gonna be showing you an awesome trick to customize your desktop. Hope you enjoy. Make you glad you came. The sun goes down, the stars come out. I'm back, but as you can see, I don't have the little dock thing at the bottom of my screen like I did in the beginning of the video. And that dock is called Rocket Dock, and I'm gonna show you how to download it, get skins, get awesome icons and features. So you wanna go to rocketdock.com slash download. Um, go download Rocket Dock right there save file so I'll just I'll just save it in the download now double click if something pops up just say yes now choose your language next I agree next next create a desktop icon next install Finish. You can close all of that, and you get that little rocket dock icon. Double click, and this pops up. So now, um, you shouldn't get that. You should get something with a lot of uh, question marks and stuff like that. So I'll, don't worry, I'll show you how to get cool stuff, um, but first let's have a look at the parameters, the, set, the settings. General, you can choose English, uh, any language you like, just choose run on startup and store settings in a portable INI or something. Now go to icons. You can choose um, opacity, the size of the icons, the zoom when you put your mouse on it, roll, the zoom width, and the zoom dur duration. duration. Now go to position. You can choose bottom, top, left, right. I like bottom. Now you should choose always on bottom because that means if you choose always on top. When you open up a page, um, Rocket Dog will still be opened. And that is kind of boring because you can't see all your screen. So normally if you open it up, say OK, it should be down there. Now, center, you can choose where to put it. If you want to put it in the middle, just choose 0%. Now this is up and down. I like to put it around, around here. Style. The style, uh, you have the theme, so what the theme is, is that you can choose anything you like. So for example, if you like this one. Alright, so you can also choose your font uh, that shows up when you click on your icon. You have behavior, um, auto hide. I don't really like all of that. And about if you want to read stuff, updates. Okay, now we want to uh, download another font uh, behind. So you're gonna go to rocketdoc.com. Sorry, my internet is pretty slow today. So you go to rocketdog.com and while it's loading, I'll show you with the icons. So you can add many stuff in there. So for example, if you want to put the rocket dog, just drag it and it's in there. You 
can also put, for example, um, this. It's in there. And if you want to take it off, just leave it and it will disappear. <clears throat> so, is that loaded? Now, to change the skin, so the theme. <clears throat> Sorry. Go to Get Add ons. And for example, if you want, you know, you can check pages. Uh, you have icons, skins, docklets. And we just want to go in skins today. Well, not today, but. So in skins, you can go to a random page. So let's say you want uh, this one, Proton. You can click on the no, thumbnail and I will show you like how it looks like and stuff. So it looks pretty cool. Close. And you go download file. Of course you can download anything, don't... Well, I'm, this is just an example. Go open with WinRAR uh, or any software that can uh, read and extract zip folders um, now proton extract to desktop now you can minus that and we've got the proton uh, file so those are the things inside of the file. You don't want to touch anything in there. So now we're going to go copy and go my computer. Uh, go to your local disk where there's program files and programs. So if you have program files, um, no, if you have 64-bit, uh, you should go to program files and if you have 32-bit you should go in programs um, I'll show you in my next video how to um, well I plan on doing this, this tutorial how to know if you run on 64 or 32 I'm 64 so I'm gonna go in program files now scroll down rocket dock and you wanna go into skins and you've got all your skins in there and just paste it continue and it's called proton so close that go to settings uh, style and look for proton there okay and that's how it looks like so you've just changed a downloaded a new skin now how to get more icons to get more icons, you can go to the Rocket Dock website where there are really nice um, icons. For example, if you are looking for Mozilla, for example, this one is a really nice icon. You also have packs or sets. So, for example, in this set, you have 556 icons. Or you can download single ones, um, pretty nice icons. So let's say you want to download... Let's say we want to download this one. Click on it. And go download file. Open with the WinRAR. And um, sometimes you get a PNG or sometimes you can get an icon file. This was is PNG, so it looks pretty nice. We're gonna extract to desktop. Okay. What I suggest, uh, I only suggest, but is that you make a folder where you put all your icons and everything. So I have a folder which is in here, customization, I call it, and rocket dog icons. I've made files, uh, for example, this is internet and communication, where I've got all internet stuff, uh, browsers, Mozilla, Internet Explorer, 
and we'll just dry, uh, drag this in here. Now close it, go to settings, oh sorry, no, go on the Mozilla icon, click right, and go icon setting. Now when when you open it for the first time you should have the daffo those that are not really cool. So you wanna go plus and add a file. Just desktop um here documents. Look for the file where you've got your icons. So I found icons. Okay. Now look for um it was an internet communication. And it's this one. Okay, now we've got a really nice little Mozilla icon. I believe this one. All right, so I I think you understand now, but you, you know you can download anything else. Now for icons, there are also really nice icons in DeviantArt.com. DeviantArt um, is basically where there are a lot of well, art things. <laughs> so you want to go in customization on the left hand side. Go to icons. Go to dock icons. And you're in there. So, for example, uh, you should go all time. So those are all the icons, uh, you can put popular, any newest, for example. Popu I'll just put popular. Alright, so, all time. Let's say you are looking for an icon for the recycle bin. Or, uh, let's try something else. Uh, Skype. You have Skype and you want another icon. So, Debian Art, type in Skype. And you have nice Skype little icons, for example, this one. Um, so, I'll show you how to download a pack. Uh, for example, a. Sky Bike. So you have this one, which is really, really cute, really nice design, and this is a pack. So I think you have two. So go download file on the right hand side. Go open with WinRAR, and you've got a pack of two PNG icons. Go extract to I'll put desktop. We also gonna download this one. Um, download file. WinRAR. And also you have different definition. Um, I'm just gonna choose the bigger one because it has better resolution. Extract to desktop. You can take both if you want. Now you've got your Skype icons right there. So we're gonna copy, well, cut. Go to your uh, folder. Internet communication. Paste it in there. So we had those two icons and. This one, we're gonna rename it Skype Icon. So we've got the three Skype icons. Now click right, Icon Settings, plus Internet Communication. And different Skype icons, you can check how it looks like. I'm gonna choose this one. So it looks pretty cool and um, look at second part of the video which is going to be really awesome too. Uh, I'm gonna use another program that we can
customize even more um, our desktop and as you will see it looks really awesome thanks for watching and part two is coming soon. I got a hangover Whoa, I've been drinking too much for sure